It's not about people misinterpreting you or lacking friends, despite the fact that you may feel that way about yourself. Being a Sigma is a way of life and a philosophy, not merely a term. You might be missing the point if you're too preoccupied with bragging about how unique you are or attempting to demonstrate your knowledge. Although it's possible that you possess some attributes associated with Sigma, becoming a Sigma doesn't mean that you are one. Although many men may want to be Sigmas, being a Sigma is a natural way of being and is not something you can push yourself to be. Furthermore, you're not really a Sigma if you're forcing it. Therefore, how can you tell if you're not a true Sigma? These are 12 glaring indicators that you may not be the Sigma guy you believe yourself to be. 1. You believe you're a Sigma, which makes you feel better than other people. Do you really believe that your status as a Sigma makes you superior to everyone else? That's not the behavior of a true Sigma. Sigma men simply do their thing and let others do theirs. They don't consider themselves to be the best. Being a Sigma isn't a pass to an inflated sense of self-worth or a means of demeaning others. You may be missing the whole idea if you're using your Sigma title to make yourself feel better than the guy sitting next to you. Being confident in oneself rather than attempting to put others down in order to advance oneself is the essence of true Sigma energy. It's being aware of your value without constantly seeking affirmation. It's time for a reality check if you constantly flaunt your Sigma rank in an attempt to feel better than others. The Sigma guy doesn't need to brag about how special he is. He isn't an ostentatious show-off. Quietly going about his work, he exudes confidence in his uniqueness. No matter who they are, he treats everyone with respect and humility. Substance matters more to a Sigma than apparent supremacy. 2. You disobey the law irrationally or merely to brag. Some men disobey the law purely for the sake of becoming fashionable. They want to prove to others that they can achieve anything they want and they find it enjoyable. However, this is not the Sigma way of thinking. A good guy understands that regulations exist for a purpose. They keep everyone safe and fairly treated. He doesn't break rules to brag about himself or to show that he doesn't care. Rather, he does it because he genuinely thinks the rule is unfair or incorrect. He also doesn't make a big deal out of it. He just quietly follows his conscience. Therefore, you are most definitely not a Sigma if you transgress the rules merely to appear good or attract attention. The Sigma mentality does not embrace rebelling without a reason or purpose. The real Sigma is not afraid to speak up when he feels something has to change, even if he respects laws and regulations. His goal is to follow his conscience and not worry about what other people think. He is not attempting to gain favor or make a statement. He is looking for advancement, development, and a better comprehension of the universe. 3. You want everyone to understand that you are unique. Does it bother you that other people might not realize how special you are? Do you constantly feel as though you need to prove that you are unique from everyone else? You're most likely not a Sigma if you're nodding in agreement. Genuine heroes don't need to constantly tell people of their uniqueness or specialness. They just let their deeds speak for them. They don't feel the need to prove it, which isn't because they think they aren't. Imagine it like a lion in the jungle. Everyone knows it's the king and it doesn't need to be reminded of this. Sigma is the same way. Folks just know he's different. He doesn't advertise it. Therefore, give up if you're constantly attempting to convince others of your uniqueness. Being unique doesn't imply flaunting your differences to others. Rather, it involves staying loyal to who you are, even if that means defying expectations. And it's fantastic if people notice. If not, that's okay too. What important is that you stay loyal to who you are. 4. You make an excessive amount of effort to conform to the Sigma stereotype. You're just trying too hard if you're constantly trying to act a certain way because you believe that's how Sigma acts. Real Sigma just are. They don't have to act or pretend. They're just being themselves, not caring if it fits some stereotype, instead than attempting to fit into a box or follow a script. You're not really understanding the concept if you're always making sure that what you're doing matches your perception of what a Sigma would do. Being authentic is the true essence of the Sigma approach. You don't have to adhere to a manual in order to be a Sigma. Stop worrying about what other people believe or anticipate. Put your attention on following your gut and staying loyal to who you are. Being a Sigma is about escaping the mold, not about fitting into it. Therefore, give up trying to impress or fit in. 5. You believe that people don't understand you and you hold them accountable for it. It's typical for many males to feel misunderstood. But that doesn't seem very Sigma-like if you're constantly criticizing other people for not understanding you. 
Being a true Sigma means that he understands that not everyone will relate to him. He only concentrates on comprehending himself. He places no blame on other people. He acknowledges his uniqueness and the possibility that some people won't agree with his methods of thinking or acting. And that's okay. He understands his worth and doesn't need anyone else to make him feel good about himself. Therefore, he doesn't let it worry him or make him feel less. A Sigma recognizes that not everyone needs to, as contrast to an Alpha who might want to dominate and make people comprehend them at any costs. It's about being comfortable in your own skin, no matter what other people think of you. It's not about making others understand. Therefore, you don't have a Sigma mindset if you are always blaming other people for not understanding you. 6. You have an incessant urge to demonstrate your intelligence and self-worth. Sigma men don't feel the need to brag about their intelligence because they are completely confident in who they are and don't let emotions of inferiority bother them. The incessant need to demonstrate your brilliance is akin to attempting to fill a leaky bucket. No matter how much you add, it will never be sufficient. However, intelligence is not something you have to flaunt like a trophy. Rather, it is the ability to comprehend, make connections between ideas, and use knowledge sensibly rather than succeeding in an unending competition. As they say, the loudest noises come from empty containers. Sigma men let their actions do the talking. They don't need a loudspeaker to flaunt their intelligence. Take a step back if you feel yourself overcompensating and overpowering others with your accomplishments. Do you really want to share what you know, or are you just looking for approval? Choosing to embrace the calm assurance of knowing above the loud desperation of proving is what it means to be a Sigma man. 7. You continuously compare yourself to other people and focus too much on what they are doing. It's obvious that you may be losing your Sigma edge if you start evaluating yourself against other people and comparing your value to theirs. True Sigma guys don't waste time attempting to be better than others. Even while they might act somewhat competitively, that's not what motivates them. Their power originates internally, not from surpassing others. Being overly preoccupied with what other people are doing is akin to ceding control of your life to their decisions and accomplishments. It is comparable to competing on a whole other course. The Sigma path is about controlling your own fate rather than following other people. You become a spectator in your own story when you get too engrossed in the lives of others. That's not a game played by Sigma men. 8. You are not able to bear being by yourself. You are most definitely not a Sigma if you become nervous with the thought of traveling alone. Men truly like their alone time because it allows them to freely explore their interests, ideas, and thoughts without outside interference. They welcome the stillness instead of running from it. However, you might want to reconsider claiming to be a Sigma if you're the kind who needs other people to confirm your existence and clings to them like a security blanket. These people use their alone time to refuel, reflect, and develop because they recognize the value of introspection. A Sigma, when faced with a fork in the road, goes somewhere alone, listens to their thoughts, and comes out on the other side with a definite direction. However, you may want to reconsider your Sigma status if you are unable to tolerate solitude and are always drawn to outside sounds to block out your inner thoughts. Being a Sigma just means you don't depend on other people to give you a sense of fulfillment and self-worth. It doesn't imply you're antisocial or unable to make friends. 9. You always have to be right and won't accept when you're incorrect. Being the captain who can adjust when the winds shift doesn't make you weak. Rather, it makes you resilient. It is wise for Sigma men to welcome the constantly changing seas and change their sails as needed. Imagine yourself in a contentious conversation, refusing to back down from your stance even when the evidence seems to be against you. That is stubbornness rather than power. Sigma men don't like being wrong, they don't enjoy being stuck. Those times when your ego prevents you from owning up to your mistakes are like being imprisoned in a jail you built for yourself, and you convince yourself that staying correct is the only way out. However, genuine strength is in the capacity to admit mistakes and show that one is willing to make amends. 10. You minimize and speak down to people because they don't think the same way you do. It's satisfying to show off your academic prowess and make people feel less intelligent than you. However, speaking down to people turns you into a bully rather than a saint. Sigma men don't need to minimize others in order to feel validated because they are confident in their knowledge and modest in their experience. It would be a very boring world if everyone had the same opinions. 
Being a Sigma man is appreciating diverse perspectives rather than dismissing them out of hand. Insecurities are frequently the root cause of the want to minimize other people. It's a defense mechanism used to cover for uncertainty. However, real strength as a Sigma comes from owning up to your own shortcomings rather than exaggerating those of others. 11. You are unable to take constructive criticism or feedback. A Sigma would never consider every recommendation to be a personal assault. This is a serious red flag. These guys welcome their status as works in progress rather than being terrified of it. However, if you find yourself reverting to your lone wolf identity whenever someone offers any insight, it may be time to reevaluate your instinct. A Sigma guy is aware that difficult situations where someone calls you out are frequently the source of personal progress. It's an opportunity to hone your skills rather than a danger. Resolving criticism is similar to working out with weights. The more you can manage, the stronger you get. A Sigma embraces a little weight and isn't scared of it. Instead than worrying too much about being correct all the time, he focuses more on growing, learning, and becoming influential. 12. Your concern about other people's opinions of you is excessive. Everyone wants to be treated with a little respect, but there's a fine line between being respectful of yourself and acting as though you're earning an award every day. Sigma men don't put on a show and aren't swayed by other people's praise or criticism. Therefore, you are most definitely not in Sigma territory if you are continuously trying to win over the audience by changing what you do to suit them. Consider whether you're living for the praise or your actual self. The person in the mirror is the only critic that matters to Sigma guys. This entails remaining loyal to who you are, even if it means being alone yourself. When you over-anxiously worry about what other people think of you, you end up in a cage of your own making, dancing like a puppet to fit their expectations out of a need for acceptance. The Sigma establishes and evaluates his own value. He never bases it on the praise or disapproval of others. 